welcome back to my channel i am elise founder of letters for life and today i have another military video that i feel like will be extremely helpful um if you clicked on this video more than likely you are about to deploy hey yay yay <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Hopefully you're able to enjoy your deployment. I know it can be very stressful at times, but I just want to encourage you to look at the good side, look at, you know, the amazing friendships, the amazing people that you're going to come in contact with. And I also wanted to just let you know certain items that I wish I would have knew to bring while I was deployed. Um, I want to encourage you and let you know that these items are definitely items that you're going to need while you were deployed, no matter the location. And just to give you a heads up before you deploy. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. So number one, the first thing that you need to bring while you are about to deploy is shower shoes. Shower shoes. I know you think that you can just hop on into the shower like you do back home in stateside. But people are nasty. Females are nasty. There are some nasty people out there. And if you don't want nothing on your feet, if you don't want no athlete's foot, if you don't want nothing crawling all over your feet, you need to bring shower shoes. I don't care how clean the shower look. I don't care if the cleaning people just got in there and they just scrubbed it from head to toe. You need to bring shower shoes with you. I'm telling you, bring shower shoes. It's just a safety precaution. Um, it honestly, if you're airmen and you're walking in, uh, in and out the dorms from outside, it's just very convenient to wear shower shoes. You already have shoes on. I know a lot of people would switch the shower shoes. So they would just have shoes that they have, um, that they will walk outside with. And then when they actually in the shower, they would switch into the shower shoes. So whatever you want to do, there's shower shoes at Walmart for like $5 that you can get. Whatever you need to do, where they don't even have to be nothing fancy. Bring shower shoes with you. Number two is going to be bed sheets. Bring your own bed sheets. Okay, say it with me again. Bring your own bed sheets. Now, I'm not knocking the housing people. I'm not knocking nobody as far as the cleaning, cleanliness, cleanliness, cleanliness. There we go. <laughs> is when you arrive at the station, the housing people will have our bed sheets available for you. Now they do wash it. I'm not saying they don't wash it. Um, they basically reuse the same bed sheet. So they will wash it for you. Uh, they're not completely, you know, they're not just nasty. They're just dirty. Like somebody just got off of them. However, for me personally, I'm a germaphobe and I don't know what's been happening in them sheets. I don't know what you done did in them sheets. And you're not about to have me all caught up with some bed bugs, some crabs, some fleas i don't know because y'all know how the plumbers are so to be on the safe side pack up your own sheets y'all now the size that i brought with me is i'm pretty sure pretty sure i brought twin size bring some twin size sheets bring your own comforter your own pillowcase your own blanket Whatever you're going to sleep on, you need to bring it yourself. Now, you can, you know, use their pillow. I think I did use their pillow, but I will only, I got a fresh pillow though. I was not using the used pillow. Pillow, out of the pillow, it was like still wrapped up. Um, I got a new mattress as well. So whenever I got into my place, thank goodness, they had a new mattress already on there for me. And I put on my sheets and I knocked out. So what's going to end up happening is the day that you arrive, you don't want to be already trying to rush to the the vx to get your sheets and to worry about all of that stuff you don't even want to worry about that all you want to do is knock out as soon as you touch down after all that traveling and on top of that it's going to be a time difference save yourself the headache save yourself the time and more importantly save yourself that money and just go ahead and bring your own sheets now like i said the vx will have sheets available for you that you want that you could purchase but think about it all y'all are coming in at once everybody's coming in at once so if they happen to run out if they don't have the size that you need if they don't have your color preference whatever your thing is you're going to be stuck in having to use housing so i'm telling you just to be safe just to save yourself some time some money and some energy bring your own sheets okay so the next thing that you need to bring while you're deployed is your own personal grooming this can look different from different people everybody has their own personal grooming but if you use a certain type of thing and you know that this is the only thing that works for me, you need to make sure that it is packed up with your stuff. 
There should be no reason to why you use a certain type of face wash. Like for me, I have acne. I have acne prone skin. So I cannot use every single generic brand that's in the store. It just doesn't work for my skin. So the mistake that I made was don't be like me. I only brought like maybe a month's worth of stuff for my face. And I ran out and I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do? I go to the BX. They don't have the certain stuff that I have for my skin. So now I have to wait on Amazon and come to find out Amazon didn't even deliver to where I was. And so now it's a huge inconvenience because I didn't order enough. I didn't pack up enough and I did not prepare. So to save yourself all that drama, just pack enough for your visit. If you know you're going to be out there for six months, pack six months worth of stuff. Because what's going to end up happening is Amazon doesn't deliver to every single location. Yes, you can type into Amazon and you could say a vino face wash. And it's going to pop up for a vino face wash. But whenever you switch it to your location, you're going to switch it to whatever deployed location you're at. It may go away and they may say, hey, I'm sorry to tell you, but we don't deliver to this location. You need to know that in advance. You need to know that, okay, Amazon is not going to have my type of face wash that I need. So I need to go ahead and stock up. If you use a certain type of hair care, if you have certain type of lotion that you use if you have eczema if whatever your grooming process is you need to make sure that you have enough that's going to last you because you don't want to get over there and you run out and now you have to wait and it's going to mess you all up and you're going to be looking a hot mess out there because you didn't prepare so just make sure that you have whatever grooming standards that you like um, make sure that you have enough to last you your whole trip. Another thing to remember is your civilian clothes. At a lot of bases, you can go off base, you can explore the local area. And it was honestly the best time exploring the local area. That's where I had honestly the most fun. Just going out and seeing everything that that country had to offer was a maze. So when you are going off base, there's certain rules and guidelines that you have to follow as far as your clothing. So no tank tops, no shorts, no ripped jeans, nothing that's super revealing. And you need to know all that coming in. So you need to pack clothes accordingly to the type of environment or the type of climate that you're going. So what I did was I researched, hey, this country in December, hey, this country in January and I looked at the weather and I packed accordingly to that weather so just because whenever I went out there it was over a hundred degrees okay cool but when I'm here for three or four months and it starts cooling off I also need to have clothes tailored to that weather so don't just think of okay I'm packing for the, the season that I'm in now you need to pack for all seasons because you don't want to be purchasing clothes just because you you didn't prepare you don't want to be purchasing clothes just because you cold and now you like oh my goodness I need a jacket you should have kind of thought of all of that before you got out there. So just make sure you're purchasing and you're getting clothes packed according to the climate over there. And then also make sure that they're in standards with off base traveling if you are permitted to do that. The next thing along with that is workout clothes. So I did not know that I was going to be working out as often as I did. I literally worked out almost every single day, y'all. I'm not even joking. I didn't even know that I could even work out every single day. But when you're on a deploy setting, you have nothing else to do but work out. So your girl was in there getting them gangs. You feel me? You need to know that. I didn't pack enough workout clothes to last me up until the time I left. Like, I was literally, I had more, like, I don't even know. I had more uniforms than anything, which is understandable. But when you have so much free time, and you will have free time, you need to plan accordingly to your workout schedule. I didn't know I was gonna work out that often, so I didn't plan accordingly. So I ended up having to order more gym clothes because I didn't have enough, or I didn't have the right type of gym clothes. As far as the weather, I was had only short sleeve stuff, and when it started getting cooler, I'm like, oh, snap, now I need more long sleeve stuff. So make sure that you're packed also according to whatever you plan on doing out there. If you plan on working out a lot, you need to pack more workout stuff. You may want to go swimming. There was a pool at the location that I was at. So I packed some swimsuits and I enjoyed myself while I was at the pool. I didn't have to worry about the swimsuit coming in from Amazon. I just pulled it out my suitcase and was on my merry way. Pack towels. Pack your own towels. I shouldn't have to say this, but pack your own underwear. Pack, you know, your bras that you're going to need. Your sports bras, your socks, your night clothes, whatever you go to sleep in. Um, any type of clothing that you normally wear stateside, you need to also make sure that you pack it on whenever you deploy as well. Another aspect that people forget about is your important documentation. You do not want to get over there, y'all, and you forget something that you need. Please, please, please bring your orders. Please, 
please, please bring your orders. You should not be on a plane. You should not be traveling anywhere regarding the military and not have enough orders to last you. I literally, I personally print out maybe like 10 copies because everybody and their mama just want to copy. <laughs> so I print out 10 copies and get it over with. Now your leadership is supposed to let you know how many copies you need. They're supposed to do a checklist with you to make sure you have all your uniforms. They're supposed to make sure you have all of your important documentation in a, um, a little sealed envelope. However, like I said, it's your responsibility to make sure that you have these important documentations. It's your responsibility. Pack everything that you're going to need. If you're going to need a birth certificate, if you're going to need a passport, if you're going to need a certain ID, bring your military ID, bring your driver's license. Any type any type of information that you think you're going to need that you are kind of hesitant about, ask your leadership and say, hey, do I need to bring this with me? And even if they tell you no, don't bring that. Just make sure that you know it for yourself and make sure you do more research on it to make sure that you're not going to need it. So those are the things that I feel like you are supposed to pack while you're deployed. Um, if I think of any more, I may do a second part on this as far as tips, um, not really things that you're supposed to pack, but just different tips while you're deployed. I'll do a second part on that. But hopefully this helps. If you need encouragement, you know somebody else that may need encouragement, please write into my foundation, www.letusflife.net. As always, I love you, but most importantly, though, God loves you. I dream about it. I go get it. That's how I do it. Not in the stars. I'm not lucky. I just.